was one of the game's more clumsy moments that brought it to life. A fourth-minute foul and Paul Wright by Brian Martin, earning the home side an undisputed penalty. Wright, one of the most decisive penalty takers in the game, duly converted the spot kick. Ian Ferguson was in the starting lineup for the first time in the league this season, and he was presented with Motherwell's first chance. But he took a touch too many and allowed Andy Rhodes to make a comfortable save. The second goal was quite simply inspired. Gary McGuinness did the groundwork down the right, and the cross was an invitation that Paul Wright couldn't refuse. Not a bad way to become the Premier League's top goal scorer. Motherwell were matching Saints chance for chance, but Ferguson's luck was out again as he tried a volley on the turn after Brian Martin crossed. Wright was keen to complete his hat-trick, and he two chances to do so before half an hour had elapsed. The first came from a corner, Wright's header tipped over by Seed Dijkstra. Then John Davies picked him out just outside the Motherwell box. Wright cut inside before sending a shot just wide. With seven minutes gone in the second half, Saints took skipper Paul Ramsey off and replaced him with Vinny Arkins. Manager John McClellan admitted that part of the reason was the fact he'd been booked and was heading, in his opinion, for a red card. St Johnston struggled without Ramsey and Motherwell started to create chances. The best of them made by Davy Cooper and Jamie Dolan for Phil O'Donnell, but Rhodes beat out his effort, then smothered the ball after it broke loose. Next, Dolan went it alone. A long-distance effort tipped over the bar by Rhodes. The Saints keeper was beaten by Motherwell's neck. Brian Martin's shot coming back off the post and picked up by Paul McGrillan, who went down in the box. But referee Andrew Waddle waved away claims for a penalty. Saints got a third with six minutes to go. Mia dragged to Vokovic, making a hash of his attempted clearance. Dijkstra did well to save Wright's effort, but he could only parry it into the path of Harry Curran, who made the final score 3-0. No hat-trick for Wright, but he wasn't complaining in the end. <laughs>